Hello, Grade 11s. Welcome to this lesson on average gradient, where we will explore the concept of the average between two points on a curve. Let's join Dylan as he explains how to use the gradient formula to his students. Look at this formula to work out the rate of change. What does it mean? Do you have any idea, girls? Ish. I really struggle with that. Well, think of it as a recipe or set of instructions with which you can calculate the rate of change. The formula says that m is the number when we do this calculation. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I suppose the two y's are output numbers and the two x's are input numbers. Now you're getting it. So subtract two output numbers, then subtract two input numbers, and divide. Now everything in a mathematical formula has a meaning. Therefore, the order of the x's and y's is important. This little 2 and 1 give instructions about which y's and x's we can use. You can interpret it like this. This y1 and x1 belong to the same point, and this y2 and x2 belong to another point. So depending on which point you choose to be x1 and y1, and which point you choose to be x2 and y2, you must always find the difference between the points by subtracting the values in the same order. Let's try an example. You know two points on a linear function are the point 4, 5 and 12, 21. Now let's analyze this information. We can show this information as follows. Here we have an input of 4 with an output of 5 and an input of 12 with an output of 21. In other words, we have xy pairs. Here the input is 4 with its corresponding output of 5. Here the input is 12 with its corresponding output of 21. Now, we know that y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 is what we need to calculate. So, the formula says subtract the y's. So for the y's, we have 21 minus 5. So the top of our ratio, the numerator, we'll write as 21 minus 5. Now we need to do the same thing for the x's. You must subtract in the same order, so it is 12 minus 4. That's right. So for the x's in the same order, we have 12 minus 4. So the denominator of this ratio is 12 minus 4. Now we can simplify this to become the following. 21 minus 5, 16, divided by 12 minus 4 is 8. Now we divide the 16 by the 8, and we see that the gradient is equal to 2. Yes, we did this before on a table and on a graph. Yes, we found the difference in output values and shared it evenly between the difference in the input values. Oh, so that's all the formula says. That was a good revision. Let's now look at the concept of average gradient and finding the gradient of a curve at a point. The average gradient between two points on a curve is the gradient of the straight line which joins these two points. It has the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The average gradient is the same as the average rate of change. Let's do an example. Given the function f of x equals x squared minus 2, determine the average gradient of the function between x equals 0 and x equals 3. To calculate the gradient, we need to find y values that correspond with these x values. When we substitute x equals 0 into the given equation, we see that y is equal to negative 2. Let us call this point A. If we substitute x equals 3 into the same equation, we get y equals 7. We call this point B. 
B. Let's use these points and the gradient formula to find the average gradient. Gradient equals 7 minus negative 2 over 3 minus 0. This simplifies to 3. This means that the average gradient between x equals 0 and x equals 3 is 3. Be sure to try the task video or learn more about average gradients between two points on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us grade 11s. Goodbye.